Because some of y'all be having it twisted watching these videos and not hitting subscribe like it's not free. It's not like it's not free. My camera's identifying me as an infant. Very weird. And my wig is tangling in the back. I love it. What's up and welcome back to my channel, y'all. This is the look we're going to be doing today. <laughs> Let's get into it. We're going to be doing a full face today. I am in that mood, period. Um, and most of the products are going to be products that I have that I haven't used in a while. And then I'm also starting a little challenge for myself where I'm using one palette every day for a week until I get through all of my palettes to sort of revive my creativity. If you know, you know, especially if you follow me on Twitter, you know. For my eyebrows, I, I grew them back out and I haven't decided whether or not I'm going to cut them off for the summertime because I like to have a straight brow during the summertime when my forehead is out and my hair is up for now though i'm just gonna fill them in as is the precisely my brow pencil and the shade i'm using is 4.5 i'm gonna move my eyebrow hairs zone and out of the way just to fill them in a little bit and at this point i'm gonna take some brow gel from benefit this is their 24 hour brow setter I'm going to go ahead and lay some of these down because after filling in my brows, I quickly remembered why I use brow gel. And it's in part because one of my eyebrows is slightly higher than the other one. And with that being the case, they're also shaped a little differently. So the brow gel kind of just helps me give the illusion that they are kin and, you know, not the cousin kind. This brow pencil, not brow pencil, I'm going to use this brow gel. I'm gonna use this brow pen from ABH, okay? And truthfully, for the most part, I don't necessarily need this, except in the front of my eyebrows. All right, <clears throat> now I'm gonna do some concealer underneath my eyebrows. I'm using the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Concealer in the shade 380. And I'm gonna prime my eyes using the Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow primer. I really have been trying to make sure that I use this concealer because I've had it for a long time. This one is a little bit more on the soft matte side, by the way. So if you're somebody who has, mm, I want to say like oily eyelids, this may be pretty good for you. Especially if you're just using it around your brows like I am. Hopefully I'm not in the way. I've been trying to get out of the habit of looking at my monitor because it bothers me when I'm watching other people's videos and they're looking at their monitor like this. <laughs> but I have to make sure that this thing is focused. So there's also that. Okay, so like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, this is the palette we're going to be working with today. And y'all, I really was just feeling sponsored, right? And then I'm also going to be pairing it with this eyeshadow from MAC. This is a pigment. It's a metallic pressed pigment called Pretty Fied. I don't think they make these anymore. Um, and then if I'm in the mood, I'm also going to add a little bit of glitter from Anastasia Beverly Hills new cosmic collection. So, baby, let's, let's just get right into things, shall we? My camera's identifying me as an infant. Very weird. So the first shade that I'm using is called Credit, and I'm just packing this on... The outer third of my eye right here and I'm just gonna put this on my outer corner and sort of create a bit of a shape whether I keep this shape right up in here or not we will find out later but this is what I'm doing right now so I'm tapping it in right on top of the eyeshadow primer so that I can get the most color payoff possible and then I'm also going to be using like these tapping dragging motions while gradually gradually <laughs> while gradually moving my brush up to blend this out and you know what i might bring this into my crease but for now we're just gonna bring this up 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 and do y'all see what i'm saying about the whole tapping dragging down while moving up it sounds way more complicated than it is i promise you as I'm getting closer to the outer part of my eye or my brow, I'm using a lighter hand and I'm also just going to go ahead 
and start sweeping this color in the direction I want it to go. I'm very much on the outer part of this. Ooh. The next shade that I'm going to dive right into is, I'm actually gonna use the shade Ginger. And I'm using a blending brush right now. This is a Makeup of the Day Cosmetics Blending Bestie brush. I'm going to tap that right on top of everything that I faded out over here. And then I'm also going to blend it out in the same direction. If you close your eye while you're doing this, it's going to make your skin a little bit more taut. Which also will help with, you know, having a seamless blend, if you will the colors on this is also why I don't be zooming in because I feel like when I zoom in the colors on the camera just it's not reflecting what this looks like in real life but whatever so again putting a little bit more of that color on because I want to be able to see it and then I'm going to go ahead and bring it up into my crease and closer towards the front of my brow as well because I have a lot of space to work with and truth be told, I may as well use it. I am going to use this Creamy Coal Pencil from Huda Beauty to give me a little bit more depth. Do, 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 do. And specifically out here, because I don't need it anywhere else. And this is a e.l.f. brush. This is one of the white handle e.l.f. brushes. I've had this for literal years. It's just really, really soft and it does a job of blending out products that need a soft touch. <laughs> so I'm doing the same thing, blending this in the direction that I wanted to go and I also made sure to place it lower than where I actually needed it to be. That way I don't wind up with um, black in areas where I don't care to see it right now. And blend it in all and out. Now with this, you can definitely put a black right on top of this. Or you can put more brown and it'll just be a little bit deeper. I'm going to put a black eyeshadow down that's not from the palette. I know, I'm cheating, I'm cheating, I'm cheating. But it's necessary. It's necessary. So now we can get a little bit into sponsored. So I'm just going to take my ring finger and sponsored. This is what it looks like. Super pretty. And I'm just going to put it all across my eyelid. Sponsored is a green shade. It is green. It's green. I don't know if my camera is showing that it's green, but it is green. And I'm putting this all across my eyelid with this ring finger. Just because it applies so much better with my finger. And that's really freaking pretty. Like, it's, it's simple, right? Like, we're not doing entirely too much. But I also want to use this, so I'm just going to open it up and get a little bit off of the top of the little seal that they have. I haven't touched this in ages, so I really don't know how it's going to apply, but that's what it looks like. And truly, I just want to put this right in the center of my eyelid and sort of combine the two shades if that makes any sense because one is metallic and one is a shimmer shade and metallics are typically a little bit more on the sparkly side versus being you know silky smooth like a satin eyeshadow that's really pretty all right so now i'm going to take this eyeshadow from mac this is carbon if you did not know MAC reformulated their eyeshadows a couple of years ago. I want to say two years ago. They reformulated. And so a lot of the classic eyeshadows that were available, um, that survived being discontinued, <laughs> are, you know, new and improved. And this is one that I had to pick up because I love a good black eyeshadow. I like when they're actually black and not, you know, leaning charcoal or turning green or looking gray once they're blended out. I don't really have that problem with this one, especially when it has a base underneath. So I'm just going to put this right on the outer corners here. And I'm going to 
pack it on and blend it out. When I blend it out, I am using a smaller, more detailed blending brush. And the reason for that is I want to get all up in that space without me blowing the black out of proportion. So I'm going to pick up a little bit more of the chocolatey color we started with. And that shade is called Credit. I'm going to tap it down on the very edges of this black first. And then I'm going to blend the black on out. I'm going to take a little bit more of ginger, yeah, ginger, which was the transition shade, the lighter brown. And I'm just going to sweep that on. Then I'm going to pick up my other blending brush, the one I started with. I'm wiping it off because I don't want to have all of the colors that I've used on the end of this brush. And then I'm just going to blow this a little bit more out. Boom. Easy peasy. Now, of course, I do need eyeliner because I'm going to put on some eyelashes and probably take a picture of this. But that's just really, really pretty and simple. Y'all, I kind of feel like... I kind of feel like I should put something in the inner quarters. No? Should something go in the inner corner? So we have Trust Issues, Soleil, and then Zam. My camera is like, no, we are not doing that right now. Okay, so trust issues, Soleil, and Zam. I feel like trust issues would be a good choice. And I'm just going to put trust issues right here. Trust issues in the pan, it looks kind of white, but when you put it on, it gives off this golden hue okay y'all so i'm going to take this glitter from anastasia beverly hills which is very hard to see and then this mixing medium from mac and then i'm gonna take the glitter that's on the lid because like i said i don't need a lot and i'm gonna put it all over the place and you just want to make sure when you're applying glitter that you do it evenly so you don't wind up with one side that's real pretty and then the other side it's like girl where's the rest of the glitter i also used this eyeliner from lancome and i just lined my upper lash line real tight so we need to get some lashes the lash glue that i'm going to use is from house of lashes all right y'all <laughs> I got my lashes on. Again, these are the Miami lashes from Lily Lashes. Everything will be linked down below. Everything will be linked down below. Okay. Now we can get into this base makeup. Let's get let's get into this base makeup. I've been trying to make a habit of using um the primers that I have that I would not typically wear like if I was going to be on about all day all forever but i still want to be able to introduce the products to y'all even though it's not something that i necessarily would be using on a regular day basis i'm also going to use this double wear primer this is the smooth and blur primer and a little bit goes a long way so that's all that i'm using i got this in a program called skeepers it used to be called octoli and basically when you have a certain amount of followers you sign up as an influencer and then you can accept campaigns or uh, free products for my foundation i'm going to use the armani luminous silk in the shade number 11 along with my 170 brush from mac <laughs> i was gonna say i think the last time i used this this actually matched me but no not my face so i'm using this on the perimeter of my face instead of everywhere because it matches the contours and shadows of my skin especially on my body because whenever i go tanning typically i will have a full face of makeup on with sunscreen and i do that because even though i want my body to be um even though i want my body to tan i'm not really trying to get my face to because i don't want unnecessary 
sun damage on my face. All right, for my concealers, these are the two that I'm going to use. This one is the Fenty Beauty one that I used under my brows, and this one is from Tula. The Tula formula actually has a really, really nice coverage to it. They also have a pretty good shade range, and every time I use it, it feels so cooling. I feel like I could probably get away with putting this all over my face, too. And it reminds me of the Kosas Concealer, if I had to compare it to one, because it's creamy. But it, I don't think it sets on its own. I don't know, because I always mix it. The East Saint Laurent Touche Claw. Touche Claw. I feel like I never say that right. I'm going to use this on the upper part of the bridge of my nose. Just right there, and I'm going to let it sit. And then I'm going to take the brush that I used earlier for Makeup of the Day Cosmetics. <laughs> Girl, this brush is toe up. I've had this brush for so long. I used this earlier to prime my eyes and blend out the concealer underneath them, underneath my brows. So I'm just going to blend all of this together now. And I'm doing tapping motions. I love this brush so much. I'm also keeping in mind to blend in the Fenty Concealer along with the Tula Concealer. And then I'm going to do these really light sweeping motions right up in here just to soften around the eyeshadow without necessarily making a harsh sharp line now before i go any further i'm going to take this mini bottle of hydro grip or hydro set and refresh and then i'm going to blend the rest of the concealer in that's the step that I've just been taking here lately to make sure everything stays on. <laughs> and to avoid creasing with foundations that I typically have trouble keeping from creasing. This is also helping me blend out this Fenty Concealer because if you did not know, it has like this really soft matte finish. So it can set on its own kind of sort of without a powder. Especially if you're somebody who prefers that look. And using the setting spray as a working spray basically just helps me not have to be super rough with the product. Like how I'm going to blend this out right here. Typically I'd have to be like, yee, trying to blend that out. But I'm being really light handed. And I'm going to take my foundation brush and just make sure that I don't have any <laughs> weird helmet lines. I'm going to take the Touche Claw again, and I'm just going to put it right on top of the Fenty Concealer. I'm not applying a lot, but I am moving it around so it looks like there is a lot. My reason for this is just to brighten it up a little bit more. And also prepare this area around my eye for some powder, because I do prefer to set my makeup. For my powder today, I'm going to use this one from Huda Beauty. This is in the shade Banana Bread. Y'all, I'm so glad that I learned how to use this powder. This is a baking powder, so just keep that in mind. And I don't need to bake with this Fenty Beauty powder. or I don't need to bake with the Fenty Beauty concealer because it's gonna, it's a soft matte. But this powder performs better when it's permitted to do what it's formulated to do. Did y'all see that video on Instagram that I made about trying to blend away the shapes before they set and I can't? <laughs> I'm going to use this Radiant Luminizer from Auric. Right up in here. I'm going to use the other side of this beauty blender to blend it on out. Depending on your complexion, this product can act as a bronzer. Or a highlighter. I'm using it to highlight and sort of act as a base for if I put on some blush, which I probably will. That's really pretty, right? And it contrasts nicely with the foundation shade that I have on that's too dark. So I'm going to go ahead and sweep away this powder. it's done its job <laughs> I 
and you may be wondering, what are you going to do about that little tint on your face? Don't worry. That's what my foundation brush is for. <laughs> this essentially just tints the powder to be a similar tone or color to the rest of my face. And then whenever I do, whenever I use my setting spray again, everything's going to melt in. So pretty. For my blush, I'm going to use this one from Armani, Giorgio Armani. This says 30 and it says glow blush. With my blush placements, I really like for them to be higher and I like for them to go right into my eyeshadow. Oh honey, this looks way better than I thought it would. When I swatched it on my finger, I was like, hey, I don't know if I'm gonna like this. But I like this. I probably should have used a bigger brush so I wouldn't be so concentrated on my face, but this is really pretty. Ooh. Ooh, not Armani about to get me back into my uh matte blushes. Wait a minute. Cuz I'm I'm not a matte blush girl. I like for my blushes to be uh, baked, mineralized, cream, liquid, but that's really, really pretty. So what I'm going to do now is just put some color on my lower lash line, likely whatever's in my crease, and then we can get into a lip. Cats are playing, and I think it's very cute, and it makes me happy that they're playing. But they keep doing stuff and that I'm concerned about, like hitting the giant mirror that we have, and we've already had two giant mirrors broken. One by Sasson and one by Damien. Anyway, so I keep getting up and when I run in there, I'm like, what is going on? And they, they meow at me like, oh, well, she hit me first. <laughs> anyway, look at this mascara. I want to put on more, but I don't need to. We love to see it, honey. And typically, I'm not a fan of the wands that have rubber bristles. There's one mascara from Benefit that I love that has rubber bristles, but this one right here, I'm very impressed. Now my lips are peeling, so I'm gonna have to pick something that's not zooming so much. Maybe a little bit of a lip tint and a gloss. I feel like this will be good. So this is called Loose Control from NARS. It is part of their Air Matte Lip Color Collection. So I'm gonna take some lip liner only on the outer part of my lips. This is from Too Faced, by the way. So I'm going to put on two glosses from Ava Beauty. This one is called Luminous, and this one is called Glass. I'm going to put Glass on the outside of my lips. Y'all, look at how pretty. Ugh! Ugh! I love a good lip gloss formula. Y'all comment down below and let me know what lip gloss formula is your favorite and why I should go ahead and buy it. Mm, mm. Feels so good. Oh, so, so juicy. I don't even know if this, you know what? This lip does go with this look. If I had to do it over though, I would put a little bit more liner on the top of my lips. I don't know. Y'all let me know. And my wig is tangling in the back. So we're going to go ahead and set the face again or set my face again with this. And y'all can see what I was talking about. Everything melting right in. Ah, I love it. Only thing I'm missing is my beauty mark. And I'm just going to take a little bit of alcohol and wipe the product off of my beauty mark. Anywho, this is the final look. I feel like the eyes are pretty easy to do. I feel like they were. Except when we got to the lower lash line, I started to do a little bit much. 
but it was worth it the contrast is really beautiful this palette is still a fabulous palette and i'm looking forward to seeing what kind of eyeshadow looks i can come up with for the rest of the week the lashes are a jackie Ina favorite in case you ain't know the miami lashes and again they pair really really well with this look my favorite part outside of the contrast from like the green and the gold with the red and whatever that eyeliner turned into on my inner corners is just how my lashes are framing my face from the mascara on my lower lash line to the faux lashes on the top and then the black eyeliner making my brown eyes pop. Love to see it. I, lo I love I love it. Anyway, y'all. I just want to thank you for watching. Don't forget to drop a comment down below, even if you're just saying, hey, girl, hey, okay. <laughs> Everything that I use will be linked below. They are affiliate links, so if you click on them, I'm going to get a little, little, like, itty bitty, easy, weeny, yellow puck of dapa kitty amount of money from it, especially if you actually make a purchase. So thank you for watching, Um, and I'm going to see y'all in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe. Because some of y'all be having it twisted watching these videos and not here to subscribe like it's not free. It's not, like it's not free. And check out the next video. <laughs>